Or just put the hook in something, y'all. She's been getting her butt kicked up there for the last 10 minutes. I don't think she's getting it kicked right now. What you got, babe? Woo! What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to see you out there. Brad and I are back on the water again today. Yesterday, we had a good day, but it was a little rough. The, the uh, weather forecast was supposed to be nice, calm, five mile, uh, five mile per hour winds, but uh, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. That was like 25 mile per hour winds. It was a little rough, but it was still a good day on the water. Um, today, we're changing it up a bit. We are on the big boat, and we're gonna take a run to the jetties. So we got some nice live shrimp. Um, we are launching from the diversion area today instead of trying to drive all the way to Texas City, trying to avoid some traffic a little bit. Uh, so the run is gonna be a little longer, but that's okay, because it's so nice outside. And I'm rocking my nice new sunglasses from Redtail Republic. So thanks again, and we'll see you out there. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to see you out there. Holy crap, we got a bite already. All right, well, welcome. <laughs> Turn the camera on in a fish ball, guys. The tide just started dumping out here. We're at the boat cut on the North Jetty. I literally just hit power on the camera and my, actually Corey, Corey's lure, her rod got hit. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are grocery shopping today, guys and sheep's head is always one of our favorites first shrimp out of the morning first fish of the day Heck yeah. <laughs> Jeepers, sheepers. that's how we like to start guys i know y'all make fun of us for what we eat but we love sheep's head so good all right cool let's give him a measure see if he's good get him in the box and carry on we're on the big boat today it's our 22 foot century bay that i've had forever this is the boat i guided out of back home in pensacola for years it's my old girl she does me good that fish is 14 inches i need to look it up and see what they need to be i do not remember y'all stand by let me check the measurements on sheep's head and i'll get back to you all right guys i am on the texas park and wildlife website here where is sheep's head Sheep's head, 15 inches, five a piece, no max. So that fish is not legal. That fish is close, but not legal. So we're gonna chunk him back and get another one. Come on, big guy. You almost got to be dinner. Yeah. All right, shrimp number two. Corey has still not caught one. It's been like eight minutes. What's taking you so long? All that trash you talk over here in I'm Costa Rica. I'm still tired from catching all those fish in Costa Rica, Brad. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. First cast with the popping cork, and we just hung a fish. Camera's on? Yeah. Maybe we're going to rig you a popping cork up here in a second. I don't know what this is, guys. I, this guy next to us is throwing a popping cork against the jetties. So I rigged one up. This is the first cast with a popping cork, and it's a really nice sheep's head. We just learned something today. Popping corks work at the sheep at the uh, jetties. How freaking cool is that? Don't know if he's going to be legal. He's going to be pretty close. Cool. I'm going to take this fish off the hook. Put a shrimp on that rod and see if you can catch one. Look at that, guys. Throw a shrimp on there and throw it as close to the jetties as you can. See if you hang one. God, I hope that's a keeper. We may have our first keeper sheeper. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. <laughs> First one in the box, baby. We learned something new today. First one in the box, y'all. You just went. Yep. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh my God! I think Brad found the uh, the the trick. <laughs> we switched over to fourth we, and immediately. Look at this. Woo! Oh man! <laughs> it's gonna copy Brant and eat a ladyfish? No. <laughs> don't want to. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, no, we've done some we've, eating stuff. Yeah. I don't want to eat. Why do they call them ladyfish? Just every single time you catch them, they poo all over the boat. That's not very ladylike. We got attitude. Oh. Brant, Ron, we started to copy you and eat this thing, but I'm gonna wait a month or two. Get your other shrimp, get out there, man. All right, y'all, Brad just got a good one. What you got there, babe? I hope it's another sheeper. Another? He smacked it as soon as it hit the water. Right really? The jetty, he was all over it. Nice. Got the cork back. Oh! No! Is that the cork all the pieces? Holy cow. Oh. Okay. Fish on. Fish on already? Fish on. Holy cow. That was hard. Yeah? Got, you got your camera on? I think so, yeah. Yes. You know, it's pulling drag, Brad. Should I uh, check to see if my drag is set correctly? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? A Jeez. sheepers. Good job, dude. Good job. Not oh. Nice job, babe. Eh? Thanks. Oh yeah, camera was on. Hey, got my little sheepers. Let's measure him and see if he's good. Get you back out there. Thanks. A minute ago, as soon as it hit, I turned around. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Nice, Brad. I don't want to lose this. One. I lost my last one. Flashbacks to Costa Rica. <laughs> I lost so many fish down there, didn't I? <laughs> That's true. I've been on a little bad spell. Oh, shoot. Good captain, bad angler. Nah, you did good, babe. Ooh. You got another little sheepers. That's a good sheepy, too. Nice. Am I in your way? No, that's a good sheepers. Look at that. Oh, God. That's cool. And it took it so gingerly, too. Like your, your bobber kind of plopped a little bit and then it went under. Yes. Oh, that's, oh a that's a big one. Jeepers, sheepers. That's oh. Jeepers. That's where you lose it. Oh my God. I'm not doing a good hand at, or good job at helping you right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, there we go. There you go. That's a keeper for sure. That's a big fish. We're going to weigh this one. All yeah. the bogus on the yellow boat. Oh. Uh, no, we got the digital scale. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. All right. We'll Very cool. He's Very cool. All right, three in the box. Good job, Brad. Yeah. All right, guys, we've been here for maybe an hour. We've got a handful of sheepers in the box. We've got three in there, one really big one, probably close to five or six pounds. We've caught a ladyfish and we've lost a couple fish. So sheep's head, black drum, redfish, flounder, trout, Spanish, that's what we're after. We're after groceries today. So this is all perfect. We'll sit here and catch the heck out of these yeah. sheep's head. This, this, is, this is 
is our kind of day. Like just chilling. We'll go marsh fishing and scout and hunt, put some work into it, and then come out here and relax. Yeah, this is an awesome day. Got him, there we go. You got him? Yeah. Watch your balance. We just got freaking swamped. He's not a big one though. Yeah, here it comes. Yowzer. Guys, you want to fish the boat cut, get ready for some of this. A little swamp action. All right, what do we got? Another little sheepers. I don't think this one's legal, but we're going to give him a courtesy measure just in case. Look at the chompers on that guy. All right, courtesy measure. Is he good? He's legal, but I think he's awful close. We're gonna let him go. He's, he's right on the mark. There's a lot of Marine Patrol out today. There's a lot of Coast Guard out today. We're not gonna take any chances. So we'll let that little guy go. Start over again. Ooh. Got him. It's uh, on the bottom. I went on the bottom just to see what would happen. It feels like a sheepers. Might not want to leave. No, Woo! That's a good one. Good He's all foul hooked. That's a good fish. Yeah, it is. It's another keeper. Yeah, it is. Maybe we don't need to leave just yet. No, we'll stay a little longer. Hey, that was the one that I caught. Spit it out. Uh, I did. Ow! Uh, not, yes. You are? Yeah. Another one. What we got? Another sheepers? A big swell. Oh, it's another sheepy. Yeah, I think he's probably too little though. That's all right. Good job, dude. Swing him over here. Oh, maybe. I don't know. He's actually pretty close. There we go. Give him a quick measure and see what he's got. All right, let's see if this guy is legal. Come here, little fellow. These things are armor plated, guys. The spines are sharp, the teeth are sharp, the gill plate's sharp. These fish are wearing me out today. I'm gonna have to go to a doctor afterwards and get stitched up. All right, let's take a measure, take a look. You guys know I think it's bad luck to leave the board out that fish is legal look at that 15 legal? 15 and a quarter in the box yeah get in there with your buddies that's one limit guys i'm at four percent battery was fixing to take the case off to go get another battery and freaking core smokes another one what do you got babe another sheepers he looks small, he looks small. yeah he's definitely going to go back and then i need to do a battery change holy cow good job That's another good one. That fish might be legal. Here, Look at him. He does not want to give it up. Him and those pliers? He's clumped them old pretty teeth down on it. Oh, he's got teeth like Maddie. Yeah, he does. All right, come on, give him up. Give him up, buddy. There we go. He was just clamped down on it. All right, cool. That's the way. Yeah, he's short. We're going to throw him back. Go home. Yeah, we don't want to keep these small ones. Cool. Good job, baby. Guys, we finally, finally talked ourselves into a move. We were catching fish there, so we didn't want to leave it. We decided to come out here to deeper water and see if we could get on a good redfish bite or a good black drum bite or something. So we moved out here. We're on the end of the south jetty. Um, Seems like everybody's on the end of the north jetty, so 
hindsight 2020 that may have been the spot but we'll find out we're in good water uh there's quite a few boats out here Let's see what goes on you're getting hit oh yeah you are Corey's first cast she's on already ladyfish I'm probably gonna need a little more weight. Yeah, ladyfish. All right, we'll get him off. I'm gonna get a little more weight. I say that, I don't know. Got that lady in yet? Oh, yay! Ah, that worked out good. I was just fixing to put my rod down. Good ah. job. Oops. Okay. Lori just put the hook in something, y'all. She's been getting her butt kicked up there for the last 10 minutes. I don't think she's getting it kicked right now. What you got, babe? Woo! Nice and easy. Don't force him too much. You got him hooked. Good job, babe. Come on, be that big trout you need. <laughs> you got him now. No color yet. No color yet. Here we go. Here's the core. Oh, it's a nice big sheepy. Here, swing him over here to me. Nice job, babe. Good job. That's a good sheep's head, too. Holy cow. That right. guy has been kicking my butt for 30 minutes. He just kicked, he just spit one of your shrimps out too. Hang on, let me bait this hook and throw it out and then we'll deal with him. Alright All right, guys, we're going to get a picture of Core with this fish and then we'll put him on ice. Alright guys, she finally got that fish. Good job baby, that's a really good fish. That's number six in the box for us on Sheepers. Cool, cool. Three, four, five, six. We can have four more of these. Guys, it's about 1.30. We've got six sheep's head in the box. We got a nice trout. We released a bunch of fish. We had a really good day. I think we're gonna head back. We got a long run. We're running all the way back to Santa Fe, the diversion area. I think they were gonna call it. It's starting to get crowded out here. The bites kind of slowed down. Corey just caught another sheep's head. Um, I had some big redfish baits down. Never really got a bite. Um, so I think we're gonna go ahead and run back, clean these fish up, and uh, maybe call this trip. So we'll see you guys back at the dock when we unload the fish, and uh, we'll clean up a few, and then we'll call it. But uh, it's been a really good time, and we'll see you diversion area. Woo! What's up guys, it's the next day. We did not decide to clean those fish on camera. Uh, we got back home and we found a ton of chores to do. Pressure wash the driveway. There was a bunch of mud and stuff under the boats that Corey wanted cleaned up. So when we got back yesterday, we did not film anymore. We didn't film cleaning the fish. We just kind of shut it down and went into chore mode. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We love going to the jetties. We love taking the Red Rocket out. Um, it's a great boat. After this outro, I'm going to put a quick little... Uh, walk through on the red rocket so you guys can see her um, so outro quick little walk through in the red rocket and then we'll close the video out thanks again for everything guys we're at uh, 1300 subscribers the channel's growing up crazy we're super super excited thank you for all the fun comments all the likes thank you for everything guys all the interactions are wonderful we really enjoy doing this uh, that's all I got to say guys thanks again another fun day on the water remember to like and subscribe and uh, see you out there you so guys, here she is, the Red Rocket. We'll start at the bow. We've got a 36 volt, 112 thrust, Mimkota Eye Pilot. We have a T-top with rocket launchers on this boat. When I bought this boat, I was against T-tops because I didn't think it was cool. But I tell you what, the amount of charters I got and the amount of charters people were happy just because I had that cover. I'm thankful I got it. Storage is full, but as you can see, this thing, you can hide Corey in there if you needed to. Got some end gunnel rod lockers, which we use for gas and knives. Really big console, electric throttle, hydraulic steering, Yamaha 250 four stroke, Garmin Touch. And that 250 is on a six inch 
Bob's hydraulic jack plate, trim tabs, and a power pole. All in all, this has been a fantastic boat over the years. Just want to give you all a quick tour of it. So whenever we say we're on the red boat, you'll know what we're talking about. She's a 2010 22-foot Century Bay.